Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel, Leela Video. So we have seen about the, all the possible scenarios and all the things available in the Options API. When you declare the component in the Options API, so we have seen all the methods and all the things, how we can call the mutations and how we can update the state, and how we can call the actions and all the things we have seen. Now the same thing we will try to do when the counter or otherwise when this counter should is there, right? So if it is in the, uh, what I can say, if it is in the setup functional or otherwise composition API functionality, so then whether these are all the things are available or not. Let's try to see. So for example, let's say that now if the options API is there means this is the only scenario. So now if this if this is why if this one is also implemented in the uh, composition API, how we can do it? For example, let's say that I am removing this code. So now we need to have a count, right? So what you will try to do? So first we need to get the counter store. Counter is equal to use counter store. Use counter store. Let's import this counter store. This counter store done. In counter store. Let's import this counter store. Import. So we have imported this counter store. Now we got the counter. So if you want to get this count counter thing, what we need to do? I have already shown you. So there is nothing but. So one thing is constant count and also double count. Okay. Double count is, is equal to store to reps. So if you want to make if you want to, if you want to use this, so we need to import the store trace, which is from PNA. And that one is from count. So now this is one step. So now you will be able to get the count and double count and we will uh, update it. Now we have a name also. So name is nothing but so we can get it from the here. So I think the name is available in the counter. Uh, name is not available. Constant name is equal to oh, and we don't forget to run the name. Let's see. Now here home.view we got the name counter and all those things we are using. You see the output when I refresh this page. So hopefully we should be able to see the active as well. There was no Okay, we need to use the setup thing. Here we need to use the setup. Or otherwise, we need to add it in a setup uh, method. And now you could try to see here. So we are able to get all the details. Now if I click on add thing, so add function, uh, increment thing, add function is not available. So let's implement the add function also. So function add is there. And here what we need to do, so one thing what you can do is, so you can do counter dot count plus plus. And also you can use counter dot name equal to math dot random okay and you can add some random. so this is one scenario you can do it like this directly so nothing no problem is there so you can use it here if i try to use this one so this will update it and if you go to the pina uh i go to the pina here so here what i can do yeah, the component from the timeline now here in the PDA, if I try to do the increment, see here two mutations has been set. Why? Because we are trying to update the two state variable. Instead of this one, what we can do? So I can do like counter dot dollar patch. So we can use directly this patch thing. <coughs> and count is nothing but counter dot count plus one. Here we need to do plus one, not plus plus. And counter dot name. We can use the name, and here we what we can do. So let's copy this. That's it. So you can comment out these two things. Now this one will become patch thing. You can directly use this one without any problem. I am incrementing this value. Now see the patch has been applied, and these two also it got updated. So like this we can use it. So without any problem. Now the next one what is remaining is the uh, what I can say. If you want to use the actions and all this, you can directly call the actions. So increment, you can directly call the increment. And here you are having this increment, right? You can directly use it, counter dot increment. And that is one thing. And now if you want to use it as a method means you can use constant increment or otherwise, yeah, constant increment. You can directly use it like this, counter. So now you, you can have this increment available, method available. 
and you can directly use this increment here directly instead of using the app. So this is one thing. And the other thing is, for example, let's say that we have a reset button, right? If I use this reset button, will this work? So here, if you, are, you need to use the counter dot dollar reset. So will it work? It will not work. So for example, if you try to see here, if I reset this page, so this one will not work. No, no. This one will not work. Why? Because the reset button will not be available in the op in the composition API. So in the options API only, the inbuilt method dollar reset is available. So if you want to have this dollar reset thing, what you need to do is you need to have your own method. So you need to create your own method. So that is the only way. And here you what you can do is count dot value is equal to zero and count dot name is equal to lila value. So only way how you can use the reset thing. In the options API, by default, you will be having this one, and but in the composition API, you cannot have. So now you can use this dollar reset thing, then it will work now. So now you need to understand that. So when you want to use the dollar reset method, and here we are using counter problem. Yeah. Okay. is built using the setup syntax does not include dollar reset. Yeah, it doesn't have a reset, right? So what you need to do? So here, you are using dollar reset. Okay, okay, okay. What we need to do is we need to we need to expose it. So we need to expose. It. So why? Because he is saying. So you have you have used this you have developed this counter store using the setup syntax. Setup syntax means composition API, and it does not have the dollar reset thing. So yes, the composition API. If you have developed the store with the composition API, you don't have access to the dollar reset. Whereas the options API inbuilt it has a, it has this dollar reset thing. Now we have exposed this dollar reset thing. Now if I click on the increment and all those things, if I click on the reset. See, it has been reset. So now okay, count that name value, count that value. Now, if you try to see here, now I have incremented this one. If I click here, everything got changed. Counter dot four. Oh, okay. okay. Now, if I try to reset this thing, see everything got reset. So, like this, you need to manually implement this reset function. So, that is one thing. And another thing which I want to tell you is that. Uh, subscribe thing. So subscribe thing by default it will be available. So there is no need to worry. So here you can write counter dot dollar subscribe, and here you will be having two two arguments which is available for you, station and the state. Let's see whether this one is also available or not. So this one setup thing. Let's see. Normally we will not use this one. Let's see. So counter dot dollar subscribe. And here, if I try to refresh this page, the console, I'm incrementing. See here, the path and also the state, everything is available. So now the subscribe button is available. Only the dollar reset is not available in the store, which is implementing in the setup function only. Other than that, everything is the one and the same only. Everything, everything will work fine. So this is about how we can use the store if your component and your store is implemented in the composition API. Okay. I hope you understood about this one and what I will try to do is I will commit this all the code in a new branch that is video equals 72. So whoever may be having a doubts on this uh, composition API and also the usage of the setup functionality so they can uh, use this uh, they can check this code setup functional in component. So I will be committing this code whoever may be having a doubts so they can go to my GitHub composition store, composition router, and here you can use here you can use this code. So whatever which are the video you are having doubt, so they can go to the particular video branch and they can see that we have code which is available in that video. And if you go to the main, all the updated code will be will be available in this particular branch. So this is all about this uh, store state data which is using in the composition API. Okay? So if you have any doubts or any sessions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.